Welcome back to JTML and 9681's LPs. I'm your host, JTML and 9681's. And we are going to be playing Mousetrap for the Atari 2600. Came out in 1982 and was made by Coleco. And I have to say that this is the weakest out of all the versions. The, the arcade, ColecoVision, the television, and then Atari 2600 version. I'm not sure about any of the other ones. I'm not sure if there are any other ports of this. But I'll explain the physics as I go along. So let's get started. Um. Hmm. Oh, duh. Reset. Yeah, it's like Pac-Man and Ladybug. The little X's supposed to be dog bones, and you use those by tapping a button. You can attack the cats, kind of like power pellets in Pac-Man. And the other dots or whatever are supposed to be pieces of cheese. And unlike the arcade ColecoVision and television version, where you have a, have other buttons to use to open up the different colored doors, you only have one kind of colored door in this version. you open the door or open the doors in this version is you have to um, hold down the button and then you'll change open and close the doors and you can get the cats trapped in like the middle there if you play your cards right like that see I have the difficulty switch set up on on difficulty A, which is a bit little bit harder. A uh, difficulty setting. I'm using the USB PS2 controller for my computer here for the emulators. So the left analog stick works quite well. And they're getting faster and faster. Now, the more you, um, you eat the cats as a dog, the more, the faster they become. Now, unlike the, Cal the ColecoVision arcade and television versions, where you can get a hawk that chases you around and will attack you if you're either a mouse or a dog. You don't get that option in this game. I'm not even sure how they would play that out anyway. trapped. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, this version is not bad. Oh, good. I, I held in the button, but it, I must not have held it in long enough to open the doors, which would have been the mistake I would have made. And I let go of it too soon, which I changed into a dog instead of changing the... Opening the doors, darn it. Or opening and closing the doors. I think this is actually the, the, the what the maze looks like when the doors are opened. And then that's the doors are closed. So, actually, 
actually, this is really good. I would have really enjoyed this game if I would have had it as a kid. But I never knew about it. I, I, I changed it to a dog going through there just in case if I were to get trapped. Ah, oh, darn it. Only could leave that one cat in there. I don't think I'll have to do another take of this. I'm doing really good. <laughs> and I don't think there's actual, like, two-player of this game. I think this is only just a one-player game. Which is no big deal. And the scoring is kind of slow, but... I don't think that really matters too much in this because this is just a very good uh, design for what they had for the Atari 2600. I mean, it's very, ah, oh, darn it, poor compared to all the other versions, I admit that. But for what you could, they could do with the 2600, this is actually very well. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, the ah! What happened? <laughs> well, folks, that's all I'm going to do. Since I actually got did pretty good in that in that first run there, I'm not going to make another run. So with that, this is JTML9681 signing off. Hope to see you on my next Let's Play. I will see you then.